Jerry's book tree. Grow secrets of our DNA. Nicola Davies, illustrated by Emily Sutton. All living things grow, plants, animals, and humans. The way living things grow helps them to survive in different places. Some grow fast to make the most of seasons or years when conditions are good. Desert 4 o'clock plants take advantage of rare rain showers by growing from seed to seedling in just 10 days. Turquoise killifish hatch, grow to the size of your little finger, and lay eggs in 15 days, just in time before the puddles they live in dry up. Others grow slowly so they can keep going when times are tough. Bristlecone pines endure harsh mountain conditions by taking 40 years to grow to the size of a pencil. They can live for more than 4,000 years. In the deep arctic ocean, where it's always cold and dark, quaha clams can take over a hundred years to grow to be as big as your palm. How much living things grow is important too. Some never get very big, while others can grow to be enormous. Both sunfish and leaf chameleons serve life pretty small. Leaf chameleons stay small, never growing longer than a matchstick, and are able to live under leaves. Some fish, on the other hand, have the whole ocean to swim in and can grow to be huge. Growing isn't only about time and size, it's also about change. Seeds don't grow into bigger seeds, but into trees and flowers. Caterpillars turn into butterflies. You grew from a tiny blob smaller than a dot. But your body didn't just get bigger, it changed shape. It became more complicated and capable of doing more things. Without even knowing about it or telling your body what to do, you will go on growing and changing as you become an adult. From the time you were the size of a dot, your body has been following a set of instructions. These instructions aren't written in words, but in a code. The code is made from Deoxyribonucelic acid, or DNA. If you could see DNA, it will look like a spiral ladder, with lots of rungs or steps. There are four kinds of building blocks, or bases, shown here in different colors. Two bases form a step, or base pair. The spiral ladder of DNA has thousands and thousands of steps, and the steps can be ordered in many, many ways. The pattern of the steps creates the code and instructions for building living things. We call that pattern the genetic code, and we call each instruction a gene. Four genes to shape a nose. More than 100 genes to help give hair color and texture. At least 16 genes to give eyes their color. It takes more than 20,000 genes working together to build a human body and keep it running. That's about six and a half feet, two meters of DNA. Luckily, DNA is very skinny and folds up so small that you need a microscope to see it. That's how a copy of your genetic code fit inside of you when you were just a dot, and how it fits inside almost every one of the cells that make your body. Half of your genetic code comes from your biological father and half from your biological mother. That's why you may look a bit like both of them. The exact mixture of instructions that you get from your biological parents isn't exactly like that of your biological brothers or sisters, if you have any, unless you have an identical twin. It's unique. By studying how similar or different genetic codes are, scientists can tell who's related to whom. Although your genetic code is unique, it's very similar to that of your biological family and shows that you are closely related. It's also quite similar to the genetic code of every other person on Earth, because we are all human beings. Animals and plants have genetic codes too. Human genetic code is very similar to chimpanzee genetic code. Chimpanzees are our closest animal relatives. 
our genetic code is less similar to dog genetic code. Even less similar to that of a goldfish. And far less similar to that of a rose. We share some parts of our genetic code with all living things. Those that are alive now and all those that have ever lived on earth. Although we are so different, our DNA shows us that we are all part of life's big family. Our DNA connects us with one another and to our ancestors back through time to the very start of life on earth. Because all life has always been written in one language. Thanks for watching!